hello I'm back with another unboxing swap reveal um, this one is from Tiffany at happy girl Tiff and she uh, made three so I think one is for me it was make two receive two um, and she has packaged hers up so well in this bubble wrap so that's awesome um, the swap was to make five items and package it cute and so let's open this up and see what she made oh my gosh this is beautiful uh there's so much pink in this package it's perfection uh first of all on the back she had these super cute stickers so i wanted to share those and it says handmade with love from happy girl tiff so cute um and she has used the embellishment box book die from scrap diva designs this is such a great die i also use this for one of the swaps that I participated in. It's like the perfect swap die to have in your stash. Okay, so let's dive in and see what she has sent. Um, it looks like she's used the little boothing collection. This is such a cute collection. You guys know I hauled this. I have not even used it yet, though. I've been using some other collections, and I haven't even gotten a chance to make anything with this, but I am going to be sending out some boo mail, so maybe I'll use this for that. So, so pretty. So she's done some paper tearing here on the front. She's got this beautiful rosette with all of this chunky glitter uh, around the edges. She's got this little chipboard ghost and this pink candy corn. A sweet little bow, some little ephemera pieces. Look at these cute little flowers. Can y'all see that? Look how cute. I love this little star here. And then we've got this boo die cut. And then some of this like orange. I don't even know what we call this. Like some kind of mesh stuff. Um, but really perfect for Halloween time. And then you guys check out this beautiful dangle over here that she created. She's got this sweet little ghost down here at the bottom. Look at those little cheeks. Uh, adorable. And then look at all these beads on here. She's got this pretty little ghost bead. And then I love these with the seed beads. That is adorable. Um, and then we have all of these beads. And they're just perfectly wrapped and hanging on here. Look at this cute little ghosty. And then look at this just sweet little bow. Oh, I don't even in frame. Look at this sweet little bow here at the top. Oh, I just love it. This is so perfect. Oh, I just love it so much. Okay. So really, really cute. I absolutely love this. Okay. So when we open it up, um, we've got all of this stuff like packed inside. So let me pull everything out and then let's just take a look at the box. So she's got this really fun pattern paper in here. Um, I love, like I said, I love this box so much. It's, it's super easy to construct, but it's like it's such a wow factor. Um, and it's, it holds so much stuff inside. It's perfect. Um, so yeah, super cute. She's chosen all the cute papers. And then here on the back, she's got more paper tearing and her little sticker. And then, like I said, the little ghosty dangle over here on the side. So perfect. Okay. Let me just set this. Let me set it over there. Hopefully it won't cast any shadows. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, look at this. This is stunning. Oh, I love this so much. <sighs> Girly, this is so cute. I love it all. Um, okay, let me take it in for just a second. Um, so we have uh, the Scrap Diva Designs tag. I don't know the exact name of this, but it's really cute. She's put some more of this like pink. This time she's used pink of this like mesh stuff. She's got one of those black spider webs layered in here, a little um, ephemera piece. And then I love that you've used this like chipboard and you've layered it on top of each other. That's a really, really good idea. And it adds so much dimension to this. Um, that is awesome. And then this is the little tag. Oh my gosh. This is the little tag. Oh, it's just perfect. It's really just perfect. She's got a couple of little dots here, like, um, enamel dots, this little die cut skull. She's layered the tag with foam. She's got the bat bow here and it's like perfectly puffed up. 
I don't even know how you got your bow to do that. It's like perfectly rounded. Um, and then she's got this pretty glitter ribbon and then some seam binding tied around it and a tiny little spider. That's beautiful. I love this so much. And use my favorite paper. My favorite paper in this collection is the skull paper. I love it. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. And then look at this. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Okay. Let me just take it in for a minute. <laughs> I get like almost overwhelmed. <laughs> like okay just take a deep breath um okay we've got these cute little ghosty die cuts she's got these cute little bows here look at these flower clusters these are gorgeous and that's little cheeks on the on the ghost look at this one with the hands it's like holding a little pumpkin how cute is that and then she's got a little cluster she's got these little sequin clusters let me take this off we're gonna look at this bag topper here in just a minute Look at the look at those little sequin clusters there. So cute. Okay, and then check out this bag topper. It's like a um a spider web shape and then she's layered it just like to perfection. It's got we've got a little die cut here. We've got this pink candy corn. We've got this really pretty like snow tool mesh and then more of that orange stuff. I mean, this is like layering goals here. Um, really cute. These flowers are stunning. Oh gosh, they're beautiful. Did you make these flowers or did you buy these from somebody? I don't know. If you're selling them, I might need some. These are really pretty. I mean, those are stunning. Or at the very least, let me know which dye you used. Um, those are gorgeous. And then look at this, this little guy here. Oh my gosh. Um, she has glued him to a clothespin. Look and used him to clip the bag topper on. Perfect. The perfect little job for him. Oh, so cute. Look at that. Love it so much. Okay, and then here we have some, oh, she's made us some of these glitter rosettes with the chunky glitter so we can embellish them ourselves. And then she's got this pretty ghost paper behind, and then we've got the spectacular word. <clears throat> some more of those pretty flowers this little pumpkin, uh, this little spider here. And then, oh, I, I just love these beads that you've done. Like all the different colors of seed beads. Those are so fun. And then she's just attached that to the paper clip. Like what a great idea to embellish that just a little bit. So cute. I love it. It's a great idea. Okay. And then here she has these bat bows. I'm going to take these out because <clears throat> I don't think we'll be able to see them if I don't. Look at this. She's She has wrapped the center of this one with eyelash trim, which is genius because it looks like spider legs. It, you know, it's like creepy kind of looking, but it's glittered. So then it's also cute and pretty. Um, and she's got all the fun papers and the little spider web. And then on this one, she's used like some really fun black paper. This, this paper is from, um, Hobby Lobby because it's not quite glitter. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's got kind of a glittery finish, but yet it's not glittered. If you saw it in person, you would know, but anyways, it's sold at Hobby Lobby. Um, and we've got just it's so pretty, these perfect bows. And I just, I love this idea of putting this eyelash trim in the center. And then take a look at this little bag topper here. So cute. We've got this little tag. I think this is from Scrap Diva Designs. And then, of course, the words are from Scrap Diva. And then we've got this cute, super cute ribbon up here. And I love that you've, like, tied the ribbons on with this um, seam binding. That's really fun. Okay, so let me put that back. And then... Let's see. Oh, you've sent an embellishment box. Okay, so you, she made this really sweet embellishment box, like a full-sized embellishment box. She's got this sweet little ghost here, all these beautiful flowers and pumpkins and spiders and pom-pom trim, and then more of this, like, 
I don't know what this is, but you know, the mesh stuff and then the little chipboard piece and the bow. And then look at all of these fun trims over here. And look, she's tied on one of those handmade charms from Atellis who, um, she makes these on Instagram. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I love this so much. So let's see what she has inside. <gasps> look at that. It's like all pink and white and black perfection. Oh, so cute. Look at this. Look at this little bead. Spooky vibes. Love that. Love these. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Little pink ghost, a little white ghost with a bow. Adorable. We've got a pink bat charm. Got the little pumpkin with the bow. And a bunch of little enamel charms. Oh, look how cute. Love, I love this one. Well, I love them all, but that's super fun. We've got another little acrylic ghost here. Look at this teensy little pink ghost. So sweet. We've got some little charms and this pumpkin and tiny little skull and another little pink ghost here. Perfect. Love all of that. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm just now seeing a few things in this embellishment box. Girly, you went above and beyond. Um, look at these sweet pom-poms. Love these. So sweet. I love these little ghosty uh, beads. These are just the cutest. And then look at these little cabochons here. She's got all different kinds of cabochons. These are so cute. Look at this one with the hearts. And then we have this one. And I love that everything you've put in here like fits the color theme perfectly. Look at this cat. Do y'all see him? Look. I mean, you have just, you've like, um, curated. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, I was coming. <laughs> curated the perfect little pink and black and white kit a little bit of orange so perfect okay are you guys ready she sent not only did she put one of those handmade charms here on the side but she sent some handmade charms in this embellishment box look at this so we have a little ghosty here with a pink bow and then a little orange pumpkin and a little pink pumpkin. Oh, thank you so much for sharing those. They are so sweet. I love it so much. They are just the cutest little charms. If you guys have not checked out Atellis, please do so. She makes the cutest stuff. Okay, and then over here we have all of these fun beads. She's got the ones with the ghosts and the jack-o'-lantern and the stars and the bones. And there's some black felt in here and some, I think I already said the stars. We've got glittered stars. Love, love. And then look at this ghost trim. I haven't seen this before. She gave us a whole bunch of it. Really, really fun. Love that. And then a ton of bows. You guys know how much I love those bows. I can guarantee you all of these will be used. <laughs> and then look, these really fun little pumpkin charms, which I also love these as well. So fun. Oh, just perfection. Thank you so much for sharing those with us. Okay, and that's not all. Let's see what else she sent. We've got a whole other bag over here. So we've got this pink... Um, mesh bag with a little drawstring bag and then got a couple of goodies over here okay look at this sweet little bag here oh so cute this little ghost and this pink pumpkin so perfect and then let's see oh she's shared the um clay mix from um, Michael's perfect. Oh, I love this so much. This is like the perfect clay mix to go with this collection. I love it. So thank you so much for sharing that. I love this so, so much. 
And then, oh my gosh, look how cute. Okay, so she sent these pink pumpkin stickers from Hobby Lobby. I love these as well. Also perfect for this collection. And then look at these. I haven't seen these before. These are the like puffy stickers. I think they're from Michael's and they have like the little, <laughs> the little retro ghosts. Look how cute. So fun. Oh my gosh. And look at these. We've got skulls, spook. Oh, I love this spooky season. Love these. Oh, it's all so perfect. Thank you so much, girly. Everything was so fun and cute and girly and pink and just perfection. Um, I cannot wait to play with this collection now. And um, thank you so much for sending one for me. I really appreciate that. Okay, so I'm going to uh, link Tiffany in the description box below. Be sure to head over there and give her some love and um, subscribe to her channel. She has all sorts of fun stuff over there for you guys to check out. Okay, I will talk to you guys later, and uh, I should be back soon with another reveal. All right, bye.